like to introduce you to Mary Hamlin. She is our executive secretary, and she represents the British Garden. And she's going to give you just a little bit of information about the gardens and why they're so unique. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just want to tell you about the theme of the cultural gardens. The theme is peace through mutual understanding. And this is very, very important because sometimes when we leave another part of the world and come here, we are now in America and we need to all get along well together. So it's peace through mutual understanding. And please keep that always in, in your mind. Now, I'm going to tell you briefly about the different gardens. The uh, first garden to be established was the British Shakespeare Garden. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the Shakespeare Garden, which became the British Garden, and it was actually put in on the 300th anniversary of the death of, of William Shakespeare. Uh, but then there was a man called Leo Weidenthal who looked at these gardens and he said, I think we need an international group of gardens. He was actually our second president of the cultural gardens. So we have to thank Leo Weidenthal for the following gardens. Then we were followed by the Hebrew Garden, and it has a beautiful hexagonal fountain supported by the seven pillars of wisdom. The German Garden, 1929, Goethe, Schiller, Bach, and Beethoven are in that garden. The Italian Garden, 1930, the Renaissance Fountain, Virgil, Dante, Verdi, Le Leonardo da Vinci are all in that garden. Uh, the Slovak Garden, uh, 1932, Reverend Stefan Ferdek, who was a Catholic minister, and Reverend Jan Koller, who was a Lutheran minister in Slovakia. The Polish Garden, Chopin, Madame Curie, Paderewski, Cop Copernicus. And by the way, if you feel like it, you can cheer when I mention the name of your garden. We always do that at the holiday party. Uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to repeat the Polish garden in 1934. Chopin, Madame Curie, Paderewski, Copernicus. And the Slovenian garden, Bishop Baraga, with uh, Ivan Kankar and Simon Gregorsik. The Czech garden, come on, Paul, we need to hear a chair for that. 1935, Smetna and Dvorak composers. The American garden. <laughs> Mark Twain, the school children raised funds on the 100th anniversary of his birth. Then we went to the American Legion Peace Garden. There's a head of a woman symbolizing peace for the various nations. And then coming back to the Lithuanian Garden, 1936, Dr. Jonas Basanovicius, sorry about that, uh, first president of the Lithuanian uh, Republic, also Queen Baruta. The Hungarian Garden, Franz Liszt, an elegant yeah. wrought iron gateway. The Irish Garden, the Celtic yeah. Cross, dedicated on the anniversary of the birth of Thomas, of poet Thomas More. Mm -hmm. The Irish Garden, yeah. our president is from the Irish Garden. The Rusin Garden, Alexander Duknovich, priest, patriot, and poet. Ukrainian Garden, Lesia Ukranka, poetess. Where's the Ukrainian group? The Greek Garden, with the beautiful Doric columns uh, representing the Parthenon in Athens. The American Legion Garden, oh sorry, we mentioned that one. Um, Finnish Garden, Sibelius, the composer. Uh, the Estonian Garden, 1966, we've got to. Flame of Freedom on the uh, lovely um, white, uh, whatever you would call it, um, thing in the garden. It's, it's a beautiful flame of freedom. <laughs> I, w I think we'd call it a, um, an arch or a um, uh, monument. Monument. How's that? <laughs> then we've got, um, that was the Estonian garden. Then the Romanian garden with Inescu, the composer. The African-American garden. Uh, we're going to have flags, flag, and wonderful 
difficult lands for the um, African American garden, the Chinese garden with Confucius, that's the one up near uh, Euclid Avenue. Uh, India Garden, 2005, Gandhi on the salt march to the sea or Lake Erie. We'll say Lake Erie for us. Latvian Garden, the Stone Arch, Lady in National Costume. The Latvians always make the most noise at the holiday party. We appreciate that. The Azerbaijan Garden, the Hearth, the Stainless Steel Bowl. Serbian Garden, Negos, the poet. The Armenian Garden with the granite stones, the alphabet instrumental in the founding nation. The Syrian Garden with the beautiful arches of Palmyra. Croatian Garden, the immigrant mother. And then the Albanian Garden uh, with Mother Teresa right near the, uh, the, near the I-90. I now, gardens in development, we've got the... This garden is the African American garden, it's in development. Um, the Native American garden is in development too. The Russian garden, the Lebanese garden, the Turkish garden, and the Korean garden, all in development. So we have 29 different gardens fully developed, and we've got another one, two, three, four, five, six that are in the process of being development. Thank you very much. Thanks.